Welcome to the talk about our paper, Deep Iterative Surface Normal Estimation. My name is Jan-Erik Lenzen from TU Dortmund University and the work was performed jointly with Christian Osendorfer and Jonathan Maschi during my internship at Nasens. We present a differentiable algorithm for surface normal estimation on point clouds which reaches state-of-the-art performance while having properties like robustness, interpretability and efficiency. In the presented approach, traditional iterative least squares plane fitting is combined with a deep graph neural network for reweighting, leading to a method that utilizes problem-specific knowledge in deep learning. Unoriented surface normal estimation on point clouds, where we determine the surface normals up to a sign flip, can be formulated as a least squares plane fitting problem as shown here. For this formulation, closed form solutions are available, for example through SVD or eigen decomposition. We calculate the normal vector of a point i that minimizes the sum of squared point to plane distance of points in a neighborhood around point i. However, in practice, this simple plane fitting approach has several downsides. It is not robust to outliers in the data and it acts as a low pass filter on the point cloud, leading to smooth normal vectors eliminating sharp surface details. Both of these issues can be addressed by introducing appropriate weights in local neighborhoods, leading to a weighted least squares problem as seen here. Each point pair ij within a certain neighborhood size of each other can be weighted individually. For example, to address robustness, we can follow the considerations of Renfrew and Colton in their work about fundamental matrix estimation and the scheme for iterative reweighted least squares to extend this formulation to a sequential procedure. The weights are chosen as a function of the inverse residuals from the previous solution, assigning lower weights to points which do not support the model well. For achieving anisotropy, we can introduce a different set of weights coming from an anisotropic kernel function psi that assigns weights to point pairs based on their full Cartesian relation. Here, one has to carefully ensure that the kernel behaves invariant to rigid rotational transformations of the whole neighborhood so that the resulting normal vectors are equivariant to those transformations. Our approach combines those efforts in a single kernel function, achieving the desired properties of robustness to outliers, equivariance to local rigid rotational transformations, and is able to recover sharp surface details in low noise scenarios. We propose a deep kernel function psi that reweights the point pairs of local neighborhoods. The kernel function receives two inputs. First, the Cartesian relation vectors, which we bring into a canonical pose based on the neighborhood pose information given in rotations R. We parameterize the SO3 rotations R through quaternions, which we convert to matrices before applying them to the vectors. The second input is a latent parameterization vector theta, containing features of the local point neighborhood. The kernel function itself is realized as an MLP, receiving the concatenated input vectors. We now tackle the question of how to obtain the quaternions R and the thetas individually for each point in the point cloud. We propose to interpret the input point cloud as a neighborhood graph and use a graph neural network. The network receives residual features from a previously square solution and the relative point positions as edge input features. It regresses R and theta as node features for each node. The rotation R is obtained by regressing a four-dimensional vector, normalizing it and interpreting it as a unit quaternion. The approach can be seen as a localized spatial transformer, which is individual for each neighborhood in the point cloud, where we restrict the transformations to the SO3 rotation group. Due to the use of residual features as input, the whole process can be used in an iterative least squares procedure. The GNN provides us with further advantages. GNNs are point permutation invariant and can be applied on graphs with varying neighborhood size, for example radius graphs. They are also local so that the network can be applied to partial point clouds. The whole procedure is shown on the right. We calculate the least square solution using eigen decomposition of the neighborhood's covariance matrices, which is differentiable. The solution is used to infer new parameterizations for the kernel, which re rates the point of each neighborhood. The GNN and kernel networks parts of the algorithm are trained to minimize the angle error between the normal vector solutions and ground truth normals. We evaluated our method on the PCPNet benchmark dataset consisting of a variety of point clouds with different levels of noise and density variations. We can show that our approach slightly improves on the state of the art and normal vector accuracy in all categories as can be seen in the plot. The biggest gain however we achieve in efficiency. In comparison to related deep learning approaches which rely on large end-to-end -end networks with many more parameters, we are orders of magnitude faster. We can contribute that to the parallel nature of our algorithm and the much smaller network size. We also evaluated the behavior of our method over multiple iterations on examples from the test data. The top shows a partial point cloud with a sharp edge. In iteration 0, which is just the unweighted plane fitting, the low pass effect is visible. Over the course of iterations, it can be seen that the computed normals succeed in recovering the sharp surface. On the noisy surface in the bottom, the weights focus on the average plane and the normals become less noisy over iterations. 
This concludes our talk. For more information, please take a look at the paper or visit our session. Thank you for listening and enjoy CVPR.